Hi, we are in chapter 5.3. In this chapter, we will be dealing with pre-bending, formability, one step and universal unformed. First, uh, this example one which I plan to explain for pre-bending. Why do we need pre-bending? Uh, generally, always uh, a single bend cannot provide an accurate bending. So, we need to uh, do multiple bends before we get actual uh, good quality bends. So, uh, this is the reason why we do pre-bending. In UG, uh, so before uh, pre-bending, if you have any confusion in uh, finalizing the, the way that component is finally bent, you can always do a hand sketch. This will make, uh, my experience, this will make very good understanding of how you can do a complete bending. All the confusion will be cleared. So I suggest you clear, uh, you uh, make, you write down this, uh, uh, sketch down this component in a paper and analyze how to do the pre-bending and all. This will really help you. So, uh, open UGN next, get into progressive die wizard and same, uh, once you convert the part into a sheet metal, go for unfolding and then define in unfolding uh, window, in the drop down menu, you select the define prebends and again a uh, direct unfolding window will appear, select the bend then uh, select the start it uh, and you can see in bottom of this dialog box you can see that define prebends and it will tell you uh, you can select the total number of uh, bends required here for such a simple bend I just use two bends so it is asking from where to start uh, the prebend so I select this bend and start edge, I given this edge and I given 45 degree. So from this edge, it will make a 45 degree and split this bend into two. So uh, once pre-bend is defined, you generally do what you, gen uh, you do what you generally uh, do like creating intermediate stages once you define the intermediate stages go select a particular intermediate stage and then go to unbend and select only uh, this part this uh, pre-bend to unbend and apply uh, this will be more clear when I show you in UGNX 